Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and typically Liz would be here as well, but unfortunately she had to work today. So it's just going to be you and I, but it's really not just going to be you and I. We're meeting Matt from Tech Tested. If you haven't checked out his channel before, you definitely should do so. I'll leave a link down in the description. And especially if you're interested in what we're going to be looking at today, which is Micro Center in Sharonville, Ohio, a giant electronics store. It's sort of Best Buy meets Radio Shack and just sort of expanded a bit. If this is your first time here, welcome. My wife and I like to take people on adventures. So sometimes it might be a state park. Sometimes it might be Disney World or some other theme park. Some of the times it might be a grocery store that just sort of is like a theme park. If you like those sorts of videos, then please consider subscribing. But before it starts completely downpouring, let's head inside. Oh, we've got some chairs. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The quality of the screen is fantastic. My lord, this thing is huge. Wow. Yeah, would, would that not be perfect? Ones. You could get the entire timeline. Wow. Oh, it's so quiet. This is what's known as a 360mm AIO, which means there are three 120mm fans and it's an all-enclosed liquid cooling system. Hmm. So you don't have to worry about filling it or anything. It's already all in there. And you just plug it in and you're good to go. So these are AMD processors and these are Intel cores. These are the motherboards. This is where the graphics cards are typically. <laughs> but it looks like there's not much around right now. That price is actually not me at $209. Yeah. These are retailing online for about four hundred plus dollars. So oh, okay. that's actually a pretty decent thing to have to do this now. Get them while you can. Oh my gosh, they've got a sixty nine hundred XT. Oh. Um, what is it priced at? Uh, about eighteen twenty. Yeah. So that's huh. expensive, but Jeez. not out of the realm of what you can get them for online. That's that's yeah. actually not a crazy price for them. Yeah. It is crazy just how empty these cases are. We've got some keyboards, mouses. Right up. So, like, they've got different key switches. These are not mechanical, these are membrane. Even in the Listen to this. It's a nice sound. Got gaming mice. We might need an exterminator around here. That's that's a mouse pad. A this is the Triple XL by Glorious. It's 48 inches. Wow. What? That's like the, the size of a small child. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally like a 10 year old. Probably that's weighs it too. Yeah. yeah. What on earth? Huh. This is the future. It's a nice uh, stormtrooper mouse. Yeah. Some cool like headphones and stuff. Check this out, guys. This road mic you can plug right into your phone. Fancy. Even comes with a dead cat. A big old road. Gaming headsets. I think Matt should get this one. So it says they have turntables in this aisle. Something I haven't seen yet, but I'm sure it's here somewhere. Like every audio adapter you need, they have it. Yeah, if you were wondering where they put all of the adapters in the world, they're here at Micro Center. They, they basically took Radio Shack and stuck it in a corner of their store. Yeah. So. So this is known as a heat station, I believe, and it's got your soldering iron, but it also has like a heat gun type thing, which is designed for uh, desoldering microchips from PCBs. Got uh, various tools, Allen wrenches, and paintbrushes. Yeah, for touch-ups. I mean, I think they, they literally have everything here. These are programmable microchips. I believe so. Huh. You can buy a dino skeleton. In this aisle, they have some like, oh, just various fancy toys and Lego Technics oh. and a storage head. I would use this as a cookie jar. So rather 
Raspberry Pi is a uh, programmable microcomputer. Yeah. And um, basically what you do is you can uh, do lots of different things. You could install Windows on it in theory, or you could even, um, what we did on our channel in a very old episode is we made a retro gaming PC out of it. So um, another one you should check out. Yeah, there's lots of different things you can do with it. People use these for all kinds of things from robotics to making garage door openers and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah. Look at these game controllers. We've got some Animal Crossing, some Super Mario, some Pokemon. We have Zelda, more Pokemon. There's this grayish, whitish one. We have tons of carrying cases. We have paper. Wait, this this actually plays cassette yes. tapes? Yes, so does this one. Look what? at this. The Retro Rocker. Look at this. Wow. And then they've got the street rocker, which is the same as that, I think. But. Huh. You've even got your own timey stuff. Different uh, slim bags. Red dragon. So out of curiosity, I was trying to find the battery backup with the highest wattage. And the one that I'm seeing so far is a thousand watts. All right, so we're talking about back battery backup power supplies. UPS stands for uninterruptible power supply, which basically means if you lose power to the house, these will last long enough for you to finish up whatever you're doing and save your progress before your computer shuts off. And you were saying that you could probably run like three different standard computers off of a thousand watt battery backup? Yeah, you should be able to run three computers off of a thousand watt power supply uh, UPS without too much trouble, unless you're talking about high-end editing or gaming computers, then you're probably looking one or two. I do have a question though. Okay. Why are we squatting? I, I don't know. That's that's the we were in a prone <laughs> position when he started filming. So yeah, we, could, we just stayed there. We could we could stand. Okay, let's stand. Oh, much better. Much better. Yeah. Cat seven cables. Cat sixes. Lots of cats. I was just pointing out these magnetic parts trays. Yeah, keep your screws all in one place. Got some hot swap drives. A storage box. Put all sorts of stuff in there so you don't lose it. Old USB flash drives. Some light setups and some grill pods. Wrap around some things. Reflectors. This is where their glues and antiseptic mats are. This is not an antiseptic mat. Camera batteries. And this is the Kraken that you're supposed to release. All right, so I'll give you a quick look around so you can kind of know where uh, where things are out. We have the checkout over here. And the ink and toner is there. We have surge protectors, peripheral cables, networking cables, CD, DVD type stuff. Right in front of us are the 3D printer filaments. Emerging technology, intriguing. We have the external hard drives, networking right in front of us. Security, home automation, mice keyboards, computer and cell phone accessories, audio video equipment, mounts and AV cables and speakers. From networking, if we come down here, this is where the Apple section is. So from the Apple section, the televisions are back over in this direction along with monitors. This is where the 3D printing things are. And the this is the build your own PC section with RAM, power supplies, AMD video cards, SSDs, and enclosures. Good stuff down there. So in the emerging technology section, they sell like GoPros and microphones and I don't know. It doesn't look like it's really emerging. There's a service center over here in the front corner. And the exit. So that was Micro Center. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. It was fun hanging out with Matt, seeing what it was that Micro Center had to offer. If you like what you saw here and you aren't subscribed already, then be sure to click on the circular icon that'll get you subscribed. Also, if you would like to stick around and just kind of hang out a little bit more, then click on the video options, one of the video options that we have off to the side here. All right, thanks for stopping by, guys.